My name is Marcus McCann, you're watching Extra.ca. I'm standing on Wellesley Street on Pride Sunday where Queers Against Israeli Apartheid has just dropped a 40-foot banner that says support Palestinian queers from the Wellesley subway station. How, uh, how did you get up there? Uh, that's proprietary information. Okay, fair enough. How long do you anticipate it staying up? I don't know. I have no idea. Um, hopefully most of the day. Yeah. Do you have a message for Giorgio Mammolini related to this? Well, if he wants to defund Pride because of this, maybe he should defund the TTC because it's above the Wellesley subway stop. No, it is, you know, this is something that Quai has done on Quai's own. He can't hang this on Pride, nothing to do with Pride. Right, can it, just for the record, did you ask Pride Toronto's uh, approval to do this? No. Did they sanction it in any way? No, no did way. Did they no. endorse this project? No, they did not. No. So right. if Mamalidi wants to defund Pride on the basis of this, it has to do with his own political opinions, nothing to do with the city. They promised this year that they would not march in the Pride Parade. They promised that they would not be present in any Pride events. First of all, that's city property. That's TTC property. They have no consent whatsoever to display that banner there. Yesterday at the Dyke March, we heard people of queer Ontario chanting, down with prisons, up with Palestine. But clearly this organization does not know how to behave in a civil way and in a way that is respectful of all Torontonians. I personally support Israel's record of diversity on LGBT human rights um, and in all human rights. There are human rights organizations in Israel fighting to end the occupation right now. I would ask, in fact, I'm going to contact our city officials and ask that that banner be removed immediately. This is not about hijacking Pride anymore with our tax dollars. Thank you. Here with uh, Pride Toronto staffer, Ryan Lester and board member Roy Mitchell. Happy Pride. Uh, did, did Pride Toronto know in advance that this banner was going to be dropped from Wellesley Station? No, I can say that the uh, organizers in terms of staff and volunteers, the uh, committee coordinators and the committee members themselves, as far as I know, were not aware of any banners that would be released uh, on uh, the TTC station. Is it fair to describe it as a surprise? It's very fair to describe it as a surprise. Yeah, big surprise. Now, in terms of the, the space, the TTC space, does Pride Toronto control that space in any way during the festival? No, we don't. We, uh, we don't activate any sort of festival infrastructure on or around the uh, TTC space. We have uh, some booths in front on uh, Wellesley Street that are part of our street fair, but those are uh, made by application through a number of community groups and, and those are approved by Pride. Great. Okay, uh, Roy, does this break any promise that was made by Quaya to Pride Toronto? No, because they didn't register. They didn't. They're not. They're, as far as we know, they're not participating. They could have put this on the lake shore. We don't know, right? Happy Pride. You do.